One place the Michella family of Boardman always felt at home was the basketball court at Boardman High. Dad Ron Michella was the longtime head coach. All three of his daughters played there. Well, tonight they gathered again on that same court to remember Christine Michella Terleski, 25 days after her seven year battle with ALS ended. Here's First News reporter Jacob Thompson. Christine Tolesky's life was honored here, appropriately, right before Boardman girls basketball game. Right before the Boardman and Harding girls basketball teams took to the court for warm-ups, the family of Christine Tolesky was brought to center court. It's only been um, a few weeks since she passed away, so uh, it was emotional, but very honoring because this is what Christine loved. The family was given a plaque with Christine's face on it, along with a signed game ball right in the same gym she played in. As a basketball player, she was intense. She was five foot one, and she, you would never know it. Her heart, she played like she was six foot three. When she grew up, she started coaching girls basketball, learning under her father, Ron Michella, who coached there for over 30 years. Boardman girls basketball was in her blood. We've been around girls basketball and Boardman ever since I can remember. My dad was a coach here for a very long time. We used to just play in the locker room when we were little girls. Assistant Athletic Director Jeff Hammerton went to school and coached with Christine. During the presentation, he called Christine his friend. Their families grew close with each other. And when Christine couldn't talk anymore, they still kept in contact. My last text came from her in November. And all the topics that we talk about, from sports to the presidential election, I, I will keep that on my phone for as long as I ever can. And her sister Nadine told me she battled ALS like she played on the court. She fought till the very last second, and um, I, I, I'm still learning from her. So the kind of person she was was amazing. I think that's the only word I could describe. In Boardman, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.